Hey guys, it's LaDawn Black. I'm back with Tease TV for, yes, we're up to our fourth episode of Tease TV. And you know what? It's all about answering your questions on love, sex, and relationships. Let me scoot back a little bit. Wow, I'm all up in the screen. <laughs> All right, I guess that's right now. Okay, so I can go back to looking at the camera. All right, you send your questions to me at advice at ladonblack.com and I'm going to do my best to answer your questions because they're coming in real quick. Okay, the first question that I want to address is from Smile and it says this. It says, Ladon, I fall for people too fast. What can I do to slow that thing up? Okay, sister, this is my advice to you. You need to come up with a dating plan. Because what you're doing is scaring people off. You're smothering people. And they're like, oh, it's too much love too soon. And they're running away. So what you need to do is come up with a dating plan. Now, you know what your issue is. It's your, if your issue is you want to see a person too much or you calling too much. Or maybe you're snooping around in those Facebook pages and MySpace pages. You turn into like a stalker. You know what your issue is. And you're going to have to consciously slow it up. So if you're a caller, you're going to have to say, look, I'm just going to call them once a week. If you're a person who wants to spend up somebody's time, you know, you want to be around them all the time, you're going to have to kind of roll that back and say, you know, maybe I'll see you once or twice a month. You're going to have to consciously work on that thing because smothering people is the quickest way to not have a date. <laughs> it truly is. Okay, let's go to the next question. This one is from SR and it says this. It says, LaDon, I think all guys are interested in sex and I'm having a hard time dating. Even when they try to get close, I get intimidated. Okay, sister. This is the thing. I'm going to tell you a truth. Men like sex. <laughs> so don't be surprised. You know, men and women like sex. I mean, when you first meet someone, it's the physical that draws you in. And so that sex thing is going to always be in the room. So you can't let that be the thing that stops you from dating because it's always going to be there. Sister, you just have to work on not only presenting your sexy self, but presenting your intellectual self, presenting your spiritual self, being a well-rounded person, and then also engaging the person that you're seeing to find out the insides of them as well. You know, you don't have to have sex on the first date. You don't have to have sex at all. So you can have control. You can slow that thing down. But don't let the threat of having sex, sex, wow, the threat of having sex, that sounds so crazy to me. Don't let that stop you from having the relationship that you want. Because sister, all relationships get to the sex eventually if you're with someone for some time. And you know what? Just enjoy. Enjoy the sexual interaction. But also, yeah, focus on the deeper issues, sister. If you focus on the deeper issues, he'll get to know you and you'll get to know him. Okay. Let's go to the next one. This one comes over from SC and it says, LaDawn, I've been in a relationship with my friend for three years. We separated and currently we're not together. And I think he has a girlfriend, but he says he doesn't, but I've heard that he does. And he's always at my house and always around. I don't know what to think about this. Should I think that there's some hope or should I just tell him to leave me alone because he's playing with me? Okay, sister. This is my advice to you. He's playing with you. If he hasn't said anything about you guys getting back together, if he hasn't been clear that, oh yeah, we're just friends or we just chilling, no. He's playing with you. He's taking up your time. He's wasting your time. So you need to have that hard conversation. What are we doing here? You know, are you just my friend? Because if you're my friend, you need to be about my house. You know, we can just need to be like high and by. But if you want to work on possibly getting back with me, I need some clarity. Are you seeing somebody? Do you really want to be with me? What's going to be different? This go round. Sister, get the answers because sitting here trying to figure out and interpret his moves and he's wasting your time while you're trying to figure him out. Don't allow him to waste your time. Go ahead and get the answers that you need. Get them now. And the final question comes over from J.H. And this is his question. He says, LaDon, do you have any suggestions on how to prevent premature ejaculation? Save the best question for last. Always have to do that. <laughs> okay, brother. I can tell people all the time, if you're having true sexual issues, you may need to go see a doctor. But let me just give you some of the things that I have heard. Number one, you need to get your mental game up. Most men have some sort of game, some sort of distraction that they can actually key into at that point of excitement that slows them down. So you may have to do that. 
Another thing to look into is to vary your stroke and to vary your intensity. Sometimes you get so wrapped up in the act of sex that if you just switch positions, if you just switch pressure points, switch things that you guys are doing, that'll slow you down. And the third tip is that most adult websites and most like novelty stores, adult stores, sell a product that actually slows down stimulation for men. It actually desensitizes the penis a little bit so that you can last a lot longer for your woman. One product that I know works well and I sold a lot of it when I was working with the company PureRomance.com is called Time in a Bottle. Women used to buy it all the time. You put a little bit on the skin and it actually slows you down a little bit so that you can last a lot longer for your partner. So definitely check out those products, okay? Before I leave, I'm going to have a new piece that I want to add to Tease TV. It's called Topics or questions that I get that are off topic. <laughs> I get a lot of strange questions that really have nothing to do with love, sex, or relationships. Okay, this one I've been getting a lot, so I'm just going to address it. I've been getting these emails from men saying, LaDon, they're missing the boob shots. When I do these videos, apparently I was wearing more revealing clothes when I first started doing these videos. Okay, number one, guys, it's winter time and it's cold, so all of this is covered up. <laughs> Okay, but being that the boobs seem to be popular, they may make an appearance. They just might pop back out again, okay, <laughs> guys? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> it's so crazy to even have to address that. But if you guys want more boobs, I will give you more boobs. All right, let me say thank you real quick. Valentine's Day week was great for me. I want to send a huge thank, thank you. Can't talk now. Talk about boobs and you can't talk. <laughs> Listen, a huge thank you out to the Black Student Union at Towson University. Have fun with you guys. Huge thanks out to uh, X and Rob. Mm -hmm. I did an event with them on Valentine's Day night. Had a lot of fun. Um, Want to send some thanks out to Jessica Holter with the Punani Poets. I hosted an event with them in D.C. Want to say thank you. Thank you to Harold Fisher for hooking that up for me. I told you I'm going to have to put you on the payroll, brother, because you keep getting me gigs. Also, I'm going to have to send some thanks out to Mark Clark. He's working on a new project. Mark Clark used to be with our morning show on 92Q. Great guy. And he's working on something hot, something sexy, something delicious. And it's coming soon. And I don't want to say too much because I'm not sure what he wants people to know. But Mark had a lot of fun working on your project with you. And uh, it's going to be hot, brother. It's really going to be hot. Um, the final thing I want to say is I've been getting messages and emails and all that stuff. With people trying to figure out where they can find my books. My books are available at Amazon.com and barnesandnobles.com. You can go to your local bookstore. More than likely, you'll have to request the books, but definitely Amazon.com, barnesandnobles.com. Just do a search for LaDawn Black and the books will pop up. Strip Bear, Relationship Guide. Let's get it on. Sex Guide. Tease, which I believe is listed on Amazon already for pre-sale, is my first novel and that's available in August. And I guess the final piece would be to remind you guys, if you're not already listening, to please listen to The Love Zone on 92Q if you're in the D.C., Baltimore area, 92.3 FM, Sunday through Thursday, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And if you're not in the D.C., Baltimore area, you can always listen to the live stream at 92QJams.com. And if you want more info on anything that I've just talked about, you go to LaDawnBlack.com. That's where you gotta go, because all the things are there, right there on the site. It's L-A-D-A-W-N Black.com. That's your relationship portal. And thank you guys, and I'll be back with more advice, definitely, and more boobs. <laughs> Bye.